is live at Taylor High School near Katy tonight with a closer look at how you can e adopt a teacher. Keith? Hey there, Chris. This is a group supporting uh, several area school districts, including Katy ISD, which Taylor is a part of. We talked to a family who adopted a teacher and also to the teacher who was adopted, and both sides say this was a match that was perfect from the beginning. Really smooth. Um, my kids were able to get online. Tara Williams, a special education teacher at Katie's Taylor High School, says the first day of this very unique school year went off without a hitch. What's helped make the start of this semester even smoother is the fact that Williams recently was adopted. As soon as I saw that she was doing life skills, I said, I need to help this woman out. Adopted by Sherry Dudridge, a parent at Taylor High, part of the Adopt a Katie ISD teacher program started on Facebook this school year. Adopters like Dudridge go to the page, pick a teacher who's left behind a brief bio, then give support by providing everything from supplies to gifts to encouragement. So far, Williams has received a lapel microphone to help her students hear her clearly online, signs to remind them about proper hygiene and social distancing, and a very helpful selfie stick slash tripod. My kids really have missed being in the classroom, so I can use my selfie stick tripod deal to walk around the room and show the kids the classroom. With all the uncertainty and tension so many are feeling about this school year amid a pandemic, Williams is one of the teachers learning a lesson about gratitude and service. It's making us feel like we're taken care of and that people aren't so negative about teachers. My mom was a teacher. My mother-in-law was a teacher. I have a bunch of cousins that were teachers. I know how hard that job is. Yeah, and they, they just, they, they deserve all our respect. Uh, indeed, and there are groups for other area school districts as well, including HISD, Klein, Lamar Consolidated, and Brazos Port, just to name a few. It's an idea that hopefully will spread in years to come. Reporting live from Katie, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News. What a great program. Keith, thank you.